Hey there everyone, it's Wazza here from amninjas.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you a really cool tool, especially if you're in the SEO business and you want to create high powered PBN links or uh, you wanna buy domain names that already have authority that you could build websites on, get ranked really quickly and you know get a head start from everyone else. And it's really good to use this tool as well if you're in the domain flipping business too because you can pick up some really cool domain names that you can then just flip uh, you know for a few hundred dollars or a couple of thousand dollars even I've actually been I've only been using this tool for about a week and a half now I've already picked up three domain names and one of those domain names I know I can flip for about 500 bucks and I only paid eight dollars ninety nine US dollars for it um, so the tool I'm talking about is called Spamzilla. I'll be leaving a link in the description below for this. It is going to save you so much time. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside, give you a really quick walkthrough. And um, I'm also going to, like I've been in contact with the owner of this, one of the owners, Doug, his name is. Uh, he's actually in my Facebook group, which is really cool. Uh, this tool is it's blowing me away how, how amazing it is. It's going to save you so much time. Um, if you've looked for domain names before, uh, whether it be expired domain names or auction domain names, uh, maybe you're just waiting for domain names to uh, expire or delete, this is going to save you so much time. And the reason for that is it puts all these tools in the one place. So if you've tried, you know, doing some research on a domain name, that you've found, maybe it's an expired domain name. Chances are you've had to jump from one tool to another and maybe you, you've been looking through two or three tools or maybe a few different websites, just checking the history of it, uh, like the archive.org, um, the Wayback Machine, looking at the history of it. Now you don't have to do that because Spamzilla has it all in the one place and they even have their own spam score which automatically tells you whether a domain name is um, you know has a bad spam score uh, whether it's toxic or not and you can do some further investigation um, on that um, score if you wanted to but like just for example like I haven't put any filters in yet so uh, don't be alarmed by the way it looks at the moment but over here we've got this SZ score and I'm really impressed with this and I'm going to show you really quickly in a minute what it does but basically you're going to save so much time using this tool and I'm I'm actually loving this tool it's really good all right so over in the left hand corner here you've got some menu items uh, if you do jump on that link in the description below um, there's going to be a coupon there for you guys he's going to save a bunch of money from uh, if you use this uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, it's an exclusive discount that the owner has given to me um, that I can promote to you guys. And what I recommend doing is going through the help videos here. So there's a, a, quite a few tutorials on how to use it. So you've got all these different help videos. So definitely go through those to have a look and get a better understanding of the tool. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough and tell you what I think about it. Uh, so this is a bit of a Spamzilla review, if you want to call it that. Um, they do have a tour video as well. Highly recommend having a watch of that. And they have some help articles uh, which go over the tool itself as well. So um, what I'm going to... I'm not going to go too far into things because I'm still learning how to use it myself. I've only been using it for just over a week. But yeah, like I said, I'm really impressed with it. So what you want to do... So this is... Um, going to find expired domain names, pending delete, um, auction domain names, uh, pre pre release domain names, and things like that, like close out domain names. And it's going to save you so much. I'm going to show you exactly, I'm going to show you why. Uh, so, up here, we've got over 5 million domain names that uh, you know, either that are in the database of um, you know, through domain names and expired domain names and things like that. So I'm going to leave this uh, keyword here unchecked, uh, blank, but I'm going to click on this uh, funnel looking thing, which is a filter. And 
as you can see, you can put your own filters in, which is really cool. So you can set your own filters through Ahrefs, SEMrush, Moz, uh, the, the, you can set the filters up for Spamzilla, their own Spamzilla scores. Um, you can check or uncheck whether you, what type of domain names you want to find, um, how many backlinks, just all these different filters that you can put in to make life so much easier. And over here you've got your main top level domain names as well and your country ones. So what I'm going to just do is really quickly put some filters in and show you what it does. Alright, so if I want to ever, I'm just going to deselect this for the country codes because I'm not interested in any of them. Um, I'm going to deselect biz because I'm not really interested in the business ones. Um, and then I'm going to put a minimum of, say, 10 for domain rating on Ahrefs. Um, maybe I want the same with Moz. Again, I'm just putting some random filters in. Uh, I'm going to leave this blank just to show you what um, the Spamzilla score is. Um, I might I just want to look for expired and GoDaddy auctions. So I'm going to leave all these on, other ones out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that as is. You can go through this and put your own filters in if you're going to check it out. But yeah, I'm just going to apply these filters. Oh, just before I go any further, this is another really big time saver and something that's really cool. Um, I'm only just learned about this, the owner. Uh, Doug, he was telling me, uh, you know, if you want to use it to its fullest, make sure you save those filters. So if I put all the filters that I want, if I'm looking for a specific criteria, like setting a criteria to, you know, gather high powerful domain names, for example, um, I would set all my filters up and then save it. So if, just say I wanted to save these filters, I click save and then I can put my email in. Um, and give it a, give this filter a name, put my email, email in and Spamzilla will send me an email notification letting me know that new domain names have come in that are you know in my criteria and using those filters that I have and that's really cool so you can jump on those really quickly before other people do and yeah it just makes sense to do that. So I'm just going to apply these filters at, does return the results back really quickly. Sometimes it might lag a little bit depending probably on their servers and things like that, but that was pretty quick. So um, just really quickly going over this top table up here so you get an understanding what it is. Of course, you got your domain name up here, the source. So that's um, GoDaddy Auctions. If I click on that, it's gonna sort by expired domain names because I've only got the two selected. So I can go through all these domain names. So I'll just go back to that. Um, then we've got the trust, fro, uh, trust flow sorry, through Majestic. So you've got the citation flow as well. Um, root backlinks, uh, referring domain names. So it's got all the information there. This is really cool as well. It shows you the Majestic topics. So if you ho hover over these things as well, it gives you a bit of a uh, indicator of what it is. So say for example, this domain name here, it's related topics are society, politics, religion, uh, regional, I mean, uh, science, social science, news, media, and industry, and regional South America. So if you were looking for a domain name with those, within those topics, you could build a website on it um, and keep the same topic so it's still relevant to that the history of that domain name, which is really cool. Um, over here we've got the the, man, uh, the language, and then we've got Ahrefs domain rating, their URL rating, their referring domain names, their backlinks, and then we've got Moz's DA, like their domain authority and their page authority. And then we've got the age of the domain name, and this is what's really cool, I was talking about before, the Spamzilla SZ score. So if I hover over these crosses, sometimes it'll give you a, like a bit of a tool tip of what, why they've given you that um, spam score. And this one here has bad words, like it's got casino in it, it's got um, uh, it's different languages and stuff like that. 
uh, which is it's picked up, which is in their database, I guess, of like things to look out for. But again, I mean, you could do your own investigation and make sure that you know everything checks out and do manual uh, research on this domain name, just in case you know there's a sort of false positive or something like that. Uh, and then you've got the amount of redirects. You don't want to have too many redirects. I mean, this one here's probably got you know it's got 31 redirects in its history. Yeah, it's you know probably not going to be much of a uh, domain name that you'd want to pick up, depending on how powerful or how how badly you wanted it, I guess. Uh, then it tells you how many times it's been parked, the history, uh, how many snapshots had in the archives, um, how many times it's been dropped, how many time, how many um, pages are indexed in Google still. So um, with these ones, because they're auction domain names, some of these pages are still indexed in Google. Even some of them with the expired domain names will be um, will have uh, pages that are still indexed so you could quickly jump on those rebuild those pages or set up um, redirects so they go to a different page that way you still keep those pages um, indexed in Google and you can get traffic as well so we got the SEM traffic um, you know the amount of traffic that domain names sort of supposedly got that SEM rush is recorded uh, and then they've got their own um, SEM rank, uh, their keywords, how many keywords they've picked up, Alexa rank, the date that it was added. And then it's for like for the auction domain names, it's got the price. So I've quickly switch through and put the expired domain names up. These are going to be like it's not going to have a price there because they'll be um, you know reg price sort of thing, so registration price, and it tells you if it's available. Um, and then Alexa um, by country and then we've got country rank as well so that's the, t the table um, headings and things like that that you can sort by so what I want to show you is really quickly is this SZ score so up here we've got a auction domain name called clubhurricane.com it's got a um, Ahrefs domain rating of 27, URL rating of 10. Over here we've got a uh, Moz DA of 29 and a page authority of 22. Um, a 19 year old domain name. I mean, it's probably gonna, oh no, it's only worth 12 bucks. But it's only got a score, it's like a spam score of one, which they are saying is clean. Now, if you click on that number, it's gonna show you the actual history of that domain name, like the, the snapshots of that domain name within the platform itself, which is such a big time saver because normally you'd have to go backwards and forwards and go to all these different tools. You'd go to Majestix, you go to HRF, so you'd go to SEMrush or, um, you know, Archive, Wayback Machine. You'd be going, jumping around from all these different things where you can now do it all in the one thing, in the one place. And it just it's going to save you so much time. So you can hover over these, and it gives you a, a larger snapshot. So it looks like it's like a soccer, football website. Uh, and I mean, if you pick that up, you could rebuild it. Maybe throw some um, content on there and promote some affiliate offers or click leads or something or whatever you want to do with it or use it as a backlink maybe build it up and you've got another website that you want to link to to get that one ranking higher or build the authority for it um, it's had 11 redirects so we've got some information over here you can have a look at that as well so it just saves you so much time and something else you can do is if you hover over these here as well so if you hover over this um, sort of like building looking thing. Um, you can have a look at the archive, so that'll show you the archive for that domain name. And you can see the history, you know, click on these different dates, have a look at the, hopefully it's got nothing bad on it. <laughs> Looks like it's an Adobe Flash site. So you can have a look at the history and see what, see how it's changed over time. Um, you know, maybe it's gone from one 
website topic to a totally different one it might have been picked up and someone's used it as a um, pbn or something like that and spam the hell out of it and it might not be any good for you but yeah you can go through the wayback machine have a look uh, i'm just going to click back out of that but yeah as you can see this is going to save you so much time so much effort as well uh, because if you're doing research on you know expired domain names or auction domain names and you know building a PBN or something like that this is going to make things so much easier and the good thing about it like if you use a um, coupon code in the description that's tied up th that I've got the exclusive coupon code that for you guys it's going to save you a bunch of money as well because you're not going to need to I mean you, it's good to have all these tools but because it's all in the one place, this might save you a lot of money as well. So uh, I just wanted to show you is this tool. I mean, I'll just put some keywords in here as well. So maybe you want to look for a domain name. Uh, maybe it's, um, let's just do insurance. So it's brought back 10 domain names with those um, filters that I had in before. Uh, of course, you can change those filters. Uh, maybe you want a country top level domain name. So if I select all those, it's going to bring back more. Uh, if I put different filters in here, maybe I want to look through different types of domain sources as well. But I'm just going to have a look, see if it's, it didn't bring up any other ones, but that's okay. I was just showing you for an example. Um, and then you can have a look through and look at the, you know, the data for that domain for that keyword and the domain names that it's brought up so you know big time saver in my opinion i'm super impressed with it uh like i said i only promote software and tools that i personally use and i uh, am sort of comfortable promoting to use and if this is going to save you some money jump on it i mean it's it's going to save you time and money so yeah definitely worth having a look even if you have a look i mean it doesn't worry me if you sign up or not under my name but if you do just be aware i will get a commission for it um, i'm not promoting this just because i'm getting a commission for it of course i'm promoting because i know it's going to help a lot of people uh, all right, so definitely check it out and just go through all these videos and you'll get a better understanding uh, rather than me gibbering on about it. So yeah, I uh, thought I'd make this video so you guys are aware of it and yeah, it's a, a tool that I'll be using uh, in the future and I'll be using it to pick up some good domain names and I might even use it to flip domain names too because um, like I said in the beginning, I've already bought three domain names and I know one of those domain names I could probably flip for about 500 bucks. So not bad. Um, alrighty, so yeah, hope you're having a good day. Um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one and yeah, have a great day. Bye.